Oh, yeah. Speaking of workforce here, now there have been many businesses transitioning with 2021 from work from office to a work from home setup here. And from one of the companies, I think, you know, the nine to five workday uh, setup is going to be eliminated for, for most companies anyway. So Salesforce is eliminating their nine to five workday uh, instead and will provide employees the option whether they want to work at uh, at their facility, at the offices, or uh, work at home, or somewhere in between here. Now, is this the best course of action? You know, who's to say? But again, at the end of the day, times are changing and people's behavior have been shifting slowly. And obviously, with the new normal that's arising from what happened last year and still happening this year, and, you know, it makes sense for businesses to adapt as well. Otherwise, you might lose some key or very good employees or people that working in your company due to the uh, preferences or the sudden change in habits, uh, so to speak. So Salesforce, for those who are not familiar, is a cloud software company that provides customer relation management services. So obviously it makes sense for them, for many of their employees to have this viable option to work from home. And it, it gives the option for their employees to work remotely full time. So it's not just a temporary uh, solution, but a long-term solution for the company. So they're calling it the work from anywhere. So offer employees three different packages. So they can work flexible, so meaning work from home or from office at certain periods or fully remote and office-based. Okay. So let's see here. So when you say flexible, They'll only need to report to the office, uh, typically one to three days. And then each week for tasks that are more challenging, you know, when it's difficult to do over video calls. So typically, uh, if, if it's training involved, obviously you have to be in the, in the office to, to conduct that. But if it's just for meetings, keeping updates, I think, you know, flexible is, you know, it's, con it's, it's, it's okay. Now for collaborations and customer meetings and presentations, you know, it depends and obviously it would and they would apply it you know to all of their employees worldwide here now where will other companies follow suit you know still wait and see i think many companies are already adopting the work from home uh and stating that they will only apply it for a certain period but i think that would be the new normal here unless you know the type of work that you're doing you have to be physically present in a in the office like let's say you're in the service industry where you have to deal with customers on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think that's sh shifting already day by day. And as mentioned, for other employees who will work fully remote, okay, or work from home, uh, this, this means that you don't have to live near your office already or near the city. So you can live anywhere, uh, other parts of the country or other parts of the world, so to speak. So who don't live near one of the company's offices, so your work role doesn't require being in a physical office. So maybe some uh, what type of job would, would require you to be physically fully physical maybe you know like in the education right in universities you don't have to be physically uh, in in the campus if you're offering online classes and so forth but obviously there are pros and cons in doing this type of setup here anyway uh, as mentioned by Brett Hyder which is the president and chief people uh, offices at Salesforce, he mentions that an immersive workspace is no longer limited to a desk in our towers, which is the nine to five workday is dead. And the employee experience is about more than ping pong tables and snacks. Now, obviously, you know, the perception of what's considered normal, you know, in years past or decades past will slightly shift to a different or more flexible setup like uh, the one we're discussing here. And obviously, the, the, the point here is to improve equality and diversity at the company here, now, whichever is preferred by the employees, which helps the business you know, be productive and be uh, performing at the optimal level here. And obviously, if you are able to provide you know, different flexible plans here or you know, you're working remote, this can broaden several aspects in terms of you know, recruiting in new locations that you won't consider a viable option here. And obviously, the change of Salesforce physical offices, and as with other any companies, you know, would 
reduced in terms of their cost in the long run, right? And obviously, Salesforce here appears to be thinking about life after the virus. So obviously, when things settle back or die down and, you know, whatever the new normal would look like, and obviously, companies have to look beyond what's happening right now and what would be the trend moving forward if people would be still living in the city, if given the choice that you can work remotely outside of the city, outside of, of the office, and so forth. And obviously, in this case, the company is envisioning a more community-minded offices. So meaning interaction with other people is always better than you know, putting barriers, cubicles, and dividers, and so forth. So there will be no more devices, social distancing signs. People stand to chat with in the whole rooms and people sit around uh, at the table to work, you know, and mask. That's the ideal here. But how long before we get to that point? You know, we have to wait and see here. But one can only be hopeful and hopefully this change could lead to a more positive outcome rather than a negative one. 